What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here and if you don't know, Nintendo recently just held one of their investors meetings where they basically talk to their investors and tell them what they plan to do from here on out. And it was something interesting to look forward to in light of Nintendo's revision to their financial forecast for the current fiscal year. So right off the bat there has been talk about how Nintendo should just drop their hardware and start developing games for other consoles, but Iwata affirmed to us that they are not going to be abandoning their core business of video game hardware and software. They are going to continue researching and developing future hardware and they are not planning on giving up on their own hardware and switching to other platforms. Now one of the hot topics is of course the Wii U and Nintendo did outline what they plan to do to leverage their system. So for one, we got a more concrete release date for Mario Kart 8. So before we only knew about it coming in spring 2014, but now it has been narrowed down to May, which isn't all that great. Considering Tropical Freeze comes out in February and then there's like a three month drought of no big Nintendo Wii U games, unless there's something we just don't know of. But besides that, Nintendo's main priority with the Wii U is to focus on enriching the value of the Wii U's main feature, the gamepad itself. There has been talk about how the gamepad is kind of useless and Nintendo doesn't know what to do with it and they should just drop it, but Nintendo's going to try to fix that problem by releasing software that is made possible by the gamepad. And one of the things they feel is lacking is a game that enriches the user's gameplay experience while using the gamepad in single player, so that's actually going to be one of their top priorities. And another feature of the Wii U that they haven't used to its full potential is the Wii U gamepad's NFC. So this year they're going to try to make full use of this feature and they're going to showcase the stuff they have in store at E3 2014. We do know Nintendo is working on a new NFC game, Reggie Fils May has confirmed that, but we don't know what it actually is. It would be kind of neat if there was a Pokemon trading card game where you can buy decks of cards and then swipe them on the NFC and transfer them into the game and battle. And Nintendo also plans to improve the experience of off TV play by adding a quick boot option via a system update in the summer. So there will be a quick start menu that will allow you to load one of the games you have recently played without automatically routing you to the home menu. And it said that this will cut the loading times by 50%, which is a nice way to make things feel a little bit more snappy. And another thing they plan to do with the Wii U and something I actually didn't see coming is that they are planning to release Nintendo Nintendo DS games on the Wii U's virtual console. The details are kind of scarce on this situation, but the Wii U is a perfect fit for DS games considering it does have the dual screen thing with the Wii U gamepad. And as of right now, they haven't announced any DS games that they're going to bring over, and we don't know when they're going to start unloading these bad boys. Now, Nintendo is also looking into having more flexible price points. So up until now, it's been a standard to release games for 50 or 60 bucks no matter how many games you actually buy. They're always the same price. But Nintendo's thinking about changing that. So now that we have an account system, Nintendo will be able to offer more flexible price points to consumers who meet certain conditions. Like for example, being able to buy games at a cheaper price point by buying more. And Iwata also brought up the condition of inviting friends to play a particular game, which I guess invokes some sort of group discount. So the bottom line is that we can expect Nintendo to be more lenient with the price points in the future, not just sticking to a 50 or $60 price point no matter what. And Nintendo also talked about how they're going to leverage the use of smartphones, they actually have a small select team of developers working on it. So they want to be able to do something that is truly valuable and that is unique to Nintendo with smartphones, and simply just releasing games on these devices devices isn't what they want to do. And Nintendo is being lenient with smartphones, Iwata hasn't actually given any restrictions to the development team, so he's not really at the possibility that they'll make games. But if Nintendo does make a game, it will probably just be some sort of mini game or maybe a companion app that works in conjunction with a game on the 3DS or Wii U, it won't be the next big Mario game or something. And finally, is that one of the bigger pieces of the news during the meeting is that Nintendo basically announced that they're going to be building a new branch for themselves. So Nintendo wants to be able to venture off and be able to do something that will improve the quality of life of people, and their theme is health. So Nintendo will be releasing some sort of quality of life hardware in April of 2015 and it will feature non-wearables and it will be integrated with games. So there have been a flood of wearable devices on the market for health, but Nintendo wants to be unique and do something different by releasing something that is non-wearable and we don't know what it actually is. But Nintendo will be revealing more about this new business in 2014. But that will bring us to the end of the news roundup. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. And you can stay tuned for more news videos, video reviews, and that's on the Everest episodes. You can also check out the gaming pixel show.com to follow along for some more 3ds and wii u news but we'll talk to you later in the next video guys bye and nintendo also plans to improve the experience of off tv play by right <laughs>